Yeah, everybody, David Dillon here. Uh, weird one. So we, you know, just watched Adobe Max 2021, wanted to get all the latest, greatest. And I think, I, but I didn't want to update my InDesign. And uh, here we are in the Creative Cloud app. It kind of looks like the, uh, the new Meta logo from Facebook. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Creative Cloud is much uh, more creative. All right, so... But I guess I click somewhere, automatically update everything, because I updated uh, Photoshop, Illustrator, everything, but I want to leave InDesign alone, because I have down here, you see down here in the dock, I have 2021 and 2020, because I need both. I need actually more versions. I got a couple other computers, you know, for support of, of various uh, files, and uh, Adobe allows you, at least in the past, you can see here, yes, you can run multiple versions in design on one system. And uh, I think you could even run more than two. I've done this for years, you know. But now, so I can go down here and I can launch like Photoshop, no problem, that, that kicks open. I'm gonna force quit it. Uh, I can do the same thing as Illustrator, et cetera. But my InDesigns, they don't open anymore. Now, once again, I didn't mean to update the 17. I just did it last night or whatever when I go into, because I have to help this customer here anyway. So when I go into um, the applications, you see I have InDesign 2020, 2021, 2022, but it did something at 1206, that's a couple hours ago to my InDesign 2020, I guess it did it this morning, today. Explains why my system has been bogged down for like the last day. I couldn't slack or anything. Yeah, look at that. It took away the whole gosh darn thing. Strange, it still shows up in the dock. It, there's nothing. There's nothing to show up anymore. <laughs> I guess I have InDesign 2022 now. I'll put you down there too. Now, what I'm going to try now? Can I get back my uh, older version? So I click on all apps. I click on InDesign by little uh, doohickeys here, other versions, and I want to install this one too. But I don't want to install that one. So let's see what happens. Version, six, version 16 of InDesign is 2021, and 2022 is version 17. We have a uh, versioning chart, which I'll put a link to down below, which explains all this. So it apparently we can still run two versions of InDesign, but you can't go back any further than 2021. So we can't run 2020 anymore, which is a bit of a bummer. This 2020 looks, well, here's 2020. It's just like grayed out. I can't I can't open it up to date, but I can't open it anymore. I mean, good golly Molly. And I heard from a customer earlier today, well, we heard from customers earlier today that that was the case. And it looks like that is the case, but hopefully Adobe, we can still install 2020 or 2018 or whatever it might be. Because a lot of people don't update InDesign because they have extensive workflows based on a particular version with scripts and you know, APIs that have to just work. So like updating just automatically to a new version is like deadly to a workflow. And I got to see where I, where my preferences are for this sucker. You know, always keep, well, I want to keep, always keep Creative Cloud up to date. That's fine. Okay, great, great. automatic, you know, and I'm going to turn off a lot of these other ones too, because uh, it just bogs down your system when I don't use these enough to, to allow it to, and, and even these, actually, everything's gone off. I'll update when, I, when I'm ready. <clears throat> so now you see it, it actually went pretty fast this time. It in, installed the new version. So now I have, this one doesn't work still. Can't update it. I can't reinstall it. So just be careful, make sure you have your preferences turned off if you don't want to update anything and make sure it doesn't auto update. 
but now I got 2022 and 2021, the latest version. So it should now work down here. There we go. So that's that. It's got to verify it here. But uh, that's how you can do it. You can still run two versions, but you can't run three, which is some or four, which a lot of people need, like myself. So hopefully Adobe uh, missing something, and hopefully you can uh, let us use more than one or uh, let us use more than two versions of InDesign. Uh, you know, maybe not at the same time, but let us have loaded on our system more than two versions. We you know like three or four. You know, maybe you want to put a limit. I don't know why. Maybe just let run one run at the same time. Uh, one run at one time, not at the same time, that's fine. But hopefully this can be addressed or maybe I'm missing something. So anyway, just wanted to get this update out there so everyone understands and sees this. All right, take care.